Hey Jesters, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to be doing a makeup look with the new Maddie Ziegler Morphe 2 makeup palette. So let's get started. Okay, so I'm just going to move my hair out of the way and get started with this. Also, like I always say in all my makeup videos, don't mind the horrible lighting. I have nowhere else to do it. Also, I'm going to really try because one of my biggest things Okay, I'm starting off with this. Um, what, what I was going to say, don't mind how dirty it is. But one of my biggest things that happens to me now, and I don't know why it does, but whenever I do this, I always end up getting something on my shirt and my clothes. So I'm going to try my best to not get anything anywhere. Me. I got some hair on my... Is that? Okay. So we're just applying this. This is the Morphe 2 Skin Tint by... Addison, I mean not Addison, um, Charlie and Dixie, Amelia. My hair is starting to go in the way. Okay, and honestly one step I do that a lot of people don't do is I put it on my neck. I just kind of rub it on my neck. Now we're just going to blend. Okay guys, now I'm going in with my Tarte um, Amazon Clay 12 Hour Blush in the shade Peaceful. This is it. Here is what it looks like. Oh, you guys can see yourself in the mirror. <laughs> and then I take this brush. And I just put it on my nose. In the middle of my nose. I guess the bridge of my nose. And I just drag it down right above my contour. And I like to put a lot on right away. A lot of people are like, why do I put so much on? Because here's the thing. Here is the tea. Well, it's not really tea, but what I do is I put so much on and I look crazy, like literally, absolutely insane. Look at that. And that does not look, no. That looks crazy. So then what I do is I take my beauty blender. Again, don't mind how dirty everything is in my hand, my brushes or my beauty blender. Anyway, I take it and I blend it in. And I put a lot on because if I don't put a lot on, I'll blend it in and I'll look like I'm nothing. But if I put a lot, excuse me, if I put a lot on, and then I blend it in, it will look like I have a decent amount. And I like to look like I look a little bit more blush. Like I like to look like I have kind of a lot on, but not too much where it's like crazy and it looks like insane, you know? Okay, there we go. But usually I don't need a lot of blush during summer because you do get a little more like redder or like, you know what I mean? Because you're out in the sun a lot, but it's okay. Because here, even though it is fall now, um, it still is quite warm here, which I'm surprised. Like, I can still wear shorts some of the days, which I'm, like, very surprised. Um, because usually it isn't here. I'm from Vancouver, BC, by the way, if you're wondering. Um, and right now, today, it's, like, 24 degrees when I'm filming this video. Not when you guys watch this, but when I'm filming this. Because I'm filming it on Saturday, no, Sunday. The 25th, I think, today is. Yeah, I'm pretty sure today is the 25th. So, yeah. Okay, anyway. Now it's my Juner highlighter. Again, don't mind how dirty it is. And I think my also for this step, guys, I put a lot on, and some people don't like the way that looks. They're like, oh my god, it's too much. Like, like they don't like the look of a lot of highlight highlighter, but I do. So I'm just going in with it. And then what I do to kind of make it a little bit more subtle, but still it looks like I have a lot, is I just take it and kind of dab it in. And do the same and all the spots and try it on with my beauty blender. Okay, now I'm going to get started with the actual part of the makeup look. I'm using this palette. I'm going to get started with this color right here in the corner. It's kind of lighter beige one and I'm putting that in the crease. So let's go in with it. And I'm going to rate this as I go. Like I'm going to rate the colors and I'm going to rate the pigment and all this jazz. So I'll rate each color and then in total at the very end I'll rate the whole palette. Even though I'm not going to be using every color, so it's kind of hard for me to rate every palette, like a little palette in general, but I will rate it in general. Okay, here we go. Okay, so so far it is very pigmented, I will say that. And I really do love the pigments when it comes to eyeshadows. That's one of my biggest things, like I look for is pigment. So yeah, I'm doing the same thing in this eye, guy. Um... So yeah, I think it looks really good. It is a very, um, 
like more natural or nude color but i do like it it does give some color as you guys can see next color we're going into is loyal we actually i'm just gonna take that off loyal is the next color don't mind that how it's already like dirty and then we're into that color we're going next with loyal and we're just going to take the same brush and we're going to dip it in and we're putting this color in the outer corner right here oh i like this color it's pretty it's like a dark purple but it's not like super super dark it's like dark but like still not like the darkest purple I think this purple is very pretty. I love it. I'm gonna put a little bit more on there. Okay, so so far I really like those. I get the first color a five out of mm, maybe no, actually like a seven out of ten. The second color I'll give like a nine just because I like purple better than the other color. Um, but yeah, not a ten because it's not like my favorite favorite. But Okay, so so far here's how it looks after I blended. I like it. Looks cute so far. Now we're gonna go in with my flat brush if I can find it. So here we are. And we're gonna go in with this color right here. This kind of like greeny greeny um gold color right there. It's called Becoming. Let's see how big they I love um, sparkly shades. Sparkly shades are my favorite when it comes to eyeshadow. So I like to use a lot. Ooh, this is pretty. I like this. Okay, so one thing. I'm just going to talk about this. I don't know if it's the way I'm applying it or how I'm applying it. But it's not the most pigment. It is pigment though. Pigmented, I meant. Not pigment. Pigmented. Um, it is pigmented, but it's not the most in the world. Like, it could be more. So, I'm going to give this, like, a 8. I like it, and I think it's a very pretty color, as you guys can see. It's a very, very pretty, pretty color, but you have to, like, really nip it in. But again, I don't know if that was just how it's supposed to be. Like, it's not, like, excessive, excessive pigment. Because it still is pigmented, and just not excessive, excessive. Like, I would rather if it's sparkly be more excessive, but I think it's still really, really pretty, and I love it. We're just going to take my blendy, blendy brush again. And we're just going to go in and blend all of it together, especially the purple and the sparkly one. Because you don't want to see harsh lines when you do. I think this looks very, like, royal, kind of. I don't know why. It gives me a vibe of, like, the royal colors. Or, like, enchanted. Enchanted slash royal. Kind of like eyeshadow. It's like a darker eyeshadow, but it's still very pretty. Okay, next we're going to go in with this color right here. It's called Storm. It's really, really pretty. It's this sparkly purple. And I usually don't do sparkles underneath my eye, but I'm going to. I'm going to take my angle, kind of like eyeliner or brush, whatever you want to call it. And we're dipping it in that sparkly shade. Okay, we're going to get a lot on. We don't want that much. We want a lot. And we're just going to apply it under my eye. Pretty. Here's what it looks like. Now we're doing the other side. It's kind of like, so I'm gonna give this one like a, I guess a eight again. It's not super, super big one but I mean, it's not the darkest color too. It's kind of lighter, so it's, harder to see underneath my eye, but I think it's still very pretty. So I'm, you guys can barely see it, I don't. Anyway, I give that one like an eight again. Oh, uh, yeah, an eight. Okay, now the last shade we're gonna go in with for this eye look is we're gonna go in with this shade right here, the white kind of sparkly one, and it's called Re Reflex. Oh, it's like a bluey per. Oh, I hate when it's like that. I want it to be like actual white. It's like a bluey. I have so many of these type of, um. But I'm not going to rate it a lower just because of that reason. Because that's not my fault. I mean, that is my fault for not knowing. 
Uh, not her fault, because that's probably what it's supposed to be. So I'm gonna rate it like a seven. Yeah, I think it's still a really pretty color. I like it. I thought it would be more um, white, but it's more bluey, as you guys can see. But yeah, so overall, I give this palette like a... Hmm. I give it like an 8.5? 9? Maybe 9? No, 8.5, yeah. I love it, and I'm not mad that I bought it. It was actually kind of a cheaper palette, too. So I'm really, really not mad about it. But yeah, next step is my mascara. My last and final step is my Rare Beauty Mascara. Actually, I probably will do another. No. Isn't that weird that I do my thumbnails in the middle of my video? Comment down below if you guys think that's weird. I don't think it is weird because I always cut that part out so you guys won't see it. But I do do it in the middle of my videos so it's easier so that I can just screenshot it right then and there. I mean, some people will do it like after their video or whatever or like before. But usually I can do it before when I do my makeup tutorials or makeup looks because I need to, you know, be finished makeup look in order to take the picture. Also, guys, out of the videos I film, because I've been asking for more video videos, but you know I'm just giving them, so I want you guys to comment what your guys' favorite videos that I usually film are. Because I'm going to make up looks. You guys like my, um, talk with me. Do you guys like when I do, like, random quizzes? Or answer random questions online? Or just make normal Q&As where I ask you guys to ask me questions? I don't know. I'm just curious what you guys like. Okay, so I just finished my makeup. So here it is. Okay, so if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, comment down below, more video ideas, and like I said before, comment down below, what type of videos that I fit on you usually, and yeah, I love you guys so, so, so much, and I'll see you guys next time, subscribe, comment, and subscribe, bye guys,